We are painters, Jackson. We don't have any money. We don't get by. We struggle. But you are a great artist. I believe in Jackson Pollock. You're looking at an Oscar-winning performance. That's Marcia Gay Harden. She won an Academy Award for her role as artist Lee Krasner in the 2000 movie Pollock. But these days, you can see her on TV in the hit CBS medical drama Code Black. Harden plays Dr. Leanne Rorish, the residency director who leads a team in a busy ER. They call her daddy there. Here's a preview of tonight's episode. Anybody idea? Yeah. Yeah. No. Decreased breath sounds on his left side. Fast shows fluid on his left lung. Okay, let's get it ready for a chest tube. Hey, guys, this is Congressman Reeves. Well, it doesn't change the fact that he also has a dislocated right shoulder. So let's put it back in. They're in the same car. His daughter, maybe? Reeves doesn't have a daughter. I hope they could play for the one. Dr. Vila, we do not speculate on the private lives of our patients. Harden shares a personal medical battle in her new book. It's called The Seasons of My Mother, a memoir of love, family, and flowers. Mm -hmm. She talks about her mother, Beverly, who is battling Alzheimer's disease. The book is published by Atri. That's an imprint of Simon & Schuster, and that's a division of CBS. Marcia Gay Harden, we welcome you to the table. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I, I, so, I was so touched by your book. My mom died when she was 60 and I was mm -hmm. 40. So I have great... Um, envy for people, grown-ups who still have their mother in their lives. And I, I thought what you wrote about your mother was so touching. It was a love letter to her, but it mm -hmm. also talked about your career. But you said your mother, a mother, is the truest friend you'll have in your life, and I think that's so true. That's absolutely true. My mother was my best friend. That was a Washington Irving quote, and uh, it just... We appreciate our mothers, all they do, all they give us. Even and when they get on our nerves. Oh, honey, and, and, and they, and you're, and and they right do. About that That's too. part yes. of the passage of motherhood. But for writing this book was sort of chronicling the seasons of my mother and how our lives were interwoven. And, and about Alzheimer's, which I thought was struggle interesting. With Alzheimer's. Because you said it's a disease with no dignity. But and she you, maintains hers. She exactly. maintains hers. And that this is a case where you can't make lemonade out of lemons. Well, you know, that's true. People, there's no bright side to this. There's yes. no bright side to Alzheimer's, although there is hope around the corner for drugs. But in the moment, there is no bright side. And so you can only repurpose your pain towards something positive. Although be in, in part because of Alzheimer's, you wrote this book. That was the repurposing of the pain yeah. towards something positive. What did you discover, or was there something did you discover in the intentional act of writing that was a revelation? To you? I think it was the opportunity to reflect on who my mother was and therefore who I am. And there was one passage in it where I, I talk about my mother's, what I assumed was passivity. My mother would always say, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything so, at all. Yeah. So I thought that was passivity. And as I got older, I thought, that wasn't passivity, Marcia Gay. That's called reserve. Sometimes you don't need to throw your negative opinion out and correct all the wrongs. You should speak truth to power, but sometimes there's a way of speaking truth to power that has more diplomacy than criticism in it. And uh, that's one thing I definitely learned from my mother. Yeah, restraint is a powerful model. Restraint. Mm -hmm. What about as your no, as a not mother? Not my strong point. Yeah. <laughs> right? yes. What about when you when you become a mother, reflecting back on, you yeah. know, did you have that normal experience we all have when we become parents, which is, oh gosh, I guess mom was right. <laughs> mom was right. <laughs> yeah. Every day yes. my mother was right. Uh, you, you can't help but glean so much from your mother. And one of the things I noticed from my kids is they weren't getting to get to know my mother. They didn't get to know their grandmother. And so I did not want her legacy to be Alzheimer's. I wanted her legacy to be this beautiful life that she's lived. And that's really why I wrote it. And I will say that as I wrote it, I would read it aloud to my kids because I'm an actress, so that's how I write. How are the words sounding? So they sort of got to know my mom a bit through yeah. me reading about her. Yeah. You said you were angry that they didn't get to know the mom that you knew. Um, yes. And so this is sort of helping them get to know her as well. Let me talk about... Your, your new show, though, because okay. let's move on to that. You're here for the third season now mm -hmm. of Code Black. Yes. What can we expect this season? We were just talking about how Americans are so fascinated by medical drama. Because they're so universal. In every hospital in the world, there's somebody going through the same thing. There's a baby that needs yeah. attendance. There's a father who's dying. So that universal urge to have a doctor heal you is, you know, we can all relate to it. But in this one, the theme is, again, about motherhood. For my character, Leanne, who's sort of a badass uh, ER doctor, and now she is trying, attempting to 
to adopt Ariel. Yeah. So I think there's that's really an ER situation is raising a teenager, a teenager. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we all know. So she's got ER on both sides of her. Yeah, you said she gets three eye rolls, but you got a big dance scene coming up, which you did with a broken toe. I did. Someone who's had a broken toe. That is very it's painful. It's painful. So. I, you were worried about how you looked with your broken toe as opposed to the scene. Know, yeah. That's all. I was, my vanity took over. I was like, do I have one chin and does it look okay? Right? <laughs> Something only a woman can get away with, right? And you could do it in heels. I did it in heels. And a smile on and your face. And backwards. And backwards, right? Good right. job. Gay Gay Thank Rogers. you. Great to Good have job. you on Thank set. You. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And the Seasons of My Mother is on sale now. And you can also watch Marsha on Code Black. It airs tonight and every Wednesday at 10, 9 central right here on CBS.